Hey, hey, I'm beyond all that fuck shit. Hey. Yo, what is going on gamers? It is your boy Chris here, aka Chris A Gamer. Guys, if you have not been paying attention to Twitter, UMG Orlando has officially been canceled. So in a way, COD XP was our last event for Black Ops 3. And that basically means Black Ops 3 is officially over. And now I'm not going to lie, it does suck that UMG had to cancel the event. If you do not know what's going on, there's going to be a huge hurricane in Florida. It's going to be called Hurricane Matthew. I don't even know who makes up this stuff, man. But Hurricane Matthew was literally at the same exact time that the event was going to be happening. The event was going to be happening this weekend. And the hurricane was going to start this Thursday. We're going to get the worst of it friday so it would have been really really bad for people that were trying to fly in from other places to get to the event so umg just wanted to go through the safe route and they basically canceled the whole entire event and they're going to be refunding a lot of people they even posted like a small little announcement said like they understand that this is going to make them lose a lot of money but they feel that this is the right choice for the community and i could tip my hat off to them because a lot of companies would just be like screw it let's see if we can chance it and it just sucks because i know a lot of pros definitely wanted to go to you and Orlando for a second time and to play if you guys are asking me like why did i not play in this event i know i've been talking about going to events this whole entire year the timing just didn't really work out i don't i didn't have any pro points this year because i didn't go to any lands i didn't really play any respawn tournaments this whole year was just nothing but searching to destroy for me which does kind of suck but next year i have something that i can look forward to and i just looked at it this way if i go to this event i'm gonna be wasting a lot of money because after this event it's the next event for the new game. And I would rather save money for the new game instead of just wasting it on the game that's gonna be over. And a lot of teams weren't going, like Optic was not going. And I just felt like that would have been pointless to not go to an event because you know like optics not gonna be there obviously you know i'm not playing against optic but hopefully you can understand like what i'm trying to get to in my opinion the event didn't really matter obviously a lot of people wanted to go to that event because that's an easy w man if optic ain't there that's an easy dub but i just felt the game's gonna be over so even if i go there i'm not gonna get any pro points for the next game so that's basically my whole thought process like i said before it does suck that they canceled the event i was super excited to see Who's going to win this event? Because I know Envy's coming off of that huge win from COD XP. They've been talking mad trash. And when I mean they, I just mean J-Cap. J-Cap's ego has literally skyrocketed so high. Like, it's actually insane how much J-Cap is just, like, throwing people down because of his W at COD XP. But, I mean, hey, it's going to happen. When you win COD XP, you're going to get that ego because you, you won the biggest tournament of the year. And it seems as if every single year... It keeps happening like this. Optic goes in as the favorite team, and then boom, they don't win COD XP, and it happened again this year. And I thought it was funny when Nate I tweeted out like, hey, I'm off the hook. They play seventh without me. You can stop saying the HBR was the reason why we lost. And literally once he tweeted that out, he said that Crim6 blocked him. I find that really, really hilarious. But like I said before, UMG Orlando getting canceled really does suck because if you guys do not know, we were going to have the organization TKO actually play at UMG Orlando. If you don't know, that was Fizzerb's SND organization that he made with a whole bunch of other SND stars. And basically, it was going to be three fourths of impact, it was going to be Karma, Killa, Miracles, and then they were adding nelson to the roster because parasite didn't want to play and i felt that that was an awesome thing that they were doing it does suck because now that umg orlando was canceled we're not going to see tko play we're not going to see any of the other teams play if you are wondering why i haven't said anything about fizzerp's whole situations because i don't know guys it's really bad i'm not gonna lie i tweeted a lot about it i still can't even believe it and i just i really just want to go away from it just because like every time i think about it man it's so bad and i didn't want to make a video like rip fizzer because i just feel i don't know i feel like that's disrespectful putting his name in the title putting his name in the tags i just really i feel bad for him and his family especially his friend's family that died as well but i know every single time anyone thinks about this it's gonna make them sad so i definitely just wanted to give my two cents on it and that's probably gonna be the last time that i seriously talk about it because if you guys don't know like i've been playing like Call of Duty competitively since Black Ops 2 and like that was one person. Fizzer was one person that like the whole community knew. Like especially if you're playing Search and Destroying Ghost, you were watching his streams. Like he was literally the best SND player in Ghost. He knew all the spots. 
he was just amazing, and I just, I, I don't know, man. I can't think about it because every single time I think I'm going to see the man play. I think I'm going to see, you know, Fizzer be Fizz, and that's just not the case. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to show some support down below. I know videos have been lacking the last couple of days or so, but I've been getting better with it. It's just that... I have been going to college, and college has been just a tiny bit time-consuming, so I haven't had that much time to make videos and things of that nature, but I'm starting to make time now, and just to let you guys know, again, if I do not end up posting, like, Thursday, Friday, or up until, like, the next week, that means a hurricane hit or something like that, and you're obviously not going to see any videos from me. You actually might see me, like, post a vlog or something of me running out my house. I might do that. If you guys are down for that, just let me know. I'll definitely get that done, but as always, it is being with Chris here, aka Chris A. Gamer. I shall see y'all next time. Peace out.